Welcome everyone, I'm Dominique Maillet from Iginus. We are manufacturer of smart instrumentation. This presentation is about our configuration software of LoR 6.4. I have placed an ultrasonic level sensor in the manhole at 100 meters. To start, you need to connect to your sensors by radio using a USB radio stick plugged to the USB port of your laptop. Then press connect, select your device, okay. The software asks you if you want to retrieve the uh, present data in the memory of the sensors. In that case, I say no. To complete the configuration, you have to fulfill a few sections only. This one, to start with, the general information. This is the name used to connect to your sensors by radio. Um, you can write as well some installation information about uh, the city where you place it some comment as well when you're happy with this you press ok then you need to choose uh, the application you want to configure you can see there is quite a lot uh, just for a ultrasonic level sensors in my case now we are doing to the water 8 application few things to complete, so uh, you need to choose the measuring period, so let's say 20 seconds. You can as well choose uh, an hour to, to do the measurement, even some day. This is the calibration window. You need to tell to the software what the maximum distance between the sensors and the bottom to tell him if there is also some water aid present. In my case there is none. I press zero and they launch a new measure. The software is checking by few measurements what's the best to display. Here is. Then because I install the sensor in the manhole and there is a cunet just before the bottom. I need to filter this obstacle so I can go to the advanced mode first to modify the obstacle. So it's already proposed you one. I just press add. Then this is filtered. I can go back to the regular mode. Um, there is also an automatic filter that can help you. I'm happy with that, I just play apply. And then the configuration will be done. It's saving this calibration in the memory of the sensors. That's it. Then you've got few other options to choose from, like uh, change the measure. Let's click on change uh, measure period on eight thresholds. So, if you are measuring every let's say fifteen minutes, and then on a threshold defined, you want to measure every uh, let's say twenty seconds. Of course, from above the level let's say 200 millimeters then you press ok the first the second section is ready you can also pair a device if there is any present which is not my case here so i press cancel uh, data sending of course you can automatically send the data let's say by GPRS, 3G, FTP uh, data sending, you can choose to opt for SMS data sending as well. Now I'm going to do on GPRS. You need to select your uh, sending period. Let's say every two hours, for example, you can choose uh, as well a date, uh, some hours to do it. By default, uh, the sensors will send the data to um, our web monitoring platform, which is called EGTrack. 
so it's already configured by default. You can choose your own sensors to send to um, your private um, server, let's say. You can force a data retrieval because you send by GPRS, you need to program as well the APN, which is done here. You press program the APN. Minimum time just for security between two data sending, let's say two hours. I'm happy with that, I press OK. Then you need to send the whole configuration into the device memory. You have different options to help you as well, different options. Like you can save, for example, this configuration as a template and then to re-inject it to another sensor later on. You've got different windows, like uh, for example, the device properties, when you can check everything about your sensors. You also have uh, your data, the configuration that you can find out when you are um, somewhere else, uh, they are always saved in the computer and you can find by radio as well uh, some measurement directly here, the broadcast measures. You have program, so this is it, thank you for watching this presentation.